Hello guys, welcome back to Duck Projects. I am back with another video. So in this video, we are going to see how to create one more custom view in Anno Studio. So in this video, we are going to see how to create custom image view. So before starting the video, let me show the example what we are going to create and I will tell you the purpose why we need to create this and then we will see how to create this. So for this, I have to open my phone screen. So let me run my phone. So here you can see this is the custom image view. So this is just a normal image view. So let us suppose if I type anything here G and if I type any name here so you can see it is just showing me the first letter in the image view and if I tap on this then I can select the image from gallery so what is the purpose of using this so let us suppose you are developing an application and where you have an image view and you want user can pick the image from gallery and there is a choice for user whether they want to pick the image from gallery or not so if user pick the image from gallery then you need to show that image on your image view but if user don't pick the image from gallery then you may show the first letter of the name so that is what we are going to create i didn't add the on click listener of the gallery but you can add i will tell you in the code base how you can add this but basically i will overall give you guidance how to create a custom image view so you can use it anywhere by writing a simple implementing that function so i hope you're going to like this video so if you are new to our channel please like the video please subscribe the channel so now let's start the video so for this first of all open your anna studio and open create a new project so i just go to here new project select empty views activity from here new give any name i am just giving here custom image view tutorial so it will create a new project for us also i am recording this video in the macbook so let me know if you see any kind of improved quality in the video or not so our project created successful let's start so first of all we need to create a custom layout file where we are going to write the, our custom code so new layout resource file so i am just giving the name here custom image view so inside this it is a constrained layout it is your choice but whatever the layout you want to use you can use any but it is better to use a constrained layout so it will help to maintain the flat hierarchy now give the layout height and layout with wrap content because we want to set our custom view from our root view where we want to go where we are going to use this so just set it a wrap content wrap content as now and give any id to the root so it will help to access the click of this so i just give the id name here root now inside this i need two three things one image view one text view and one is a material card view to make the image view round so i just took here material card view for now you can give any layout with and layout height for this to this so i am giving here 100 dp 100 dp but you can give any and after this you need to give any card corner radius so card corner radius i am also giving here 100 dp give any id so i give the id name here card vg but you can give any then after that what you have to do you have to choose any card background color you can set it programmatically as well i will tell you how to set it for now i am just setting it a black here but you can set any then we have to give the constraint because it is a constraint layout so it will show the error so let's set the constraint so start to start of parent and top to top of parent because it's just a rough constraint for this view and we, we can use it accordingly wherever we want to use so these constraints not better now inside this card view what we i want to take i want to take an image view and a text view so text view to display the text first letter of the word and image view if user select an image so i just took a text view here now you have to just give the match with wrap content it will automatically adjust based on the card width then give the gravity center to place the text in the center then for now you can give any text to this i just put a a here give any color for now i just give her white then after this i just set the text style bold and after that you can set the text all caps true and id give any id to access this so i just give the id here tv what close this so you can see it is displaying here also give the layout gravity center so it will also place this as center now inside this what we need we need to also take an image view here so image view give it match parent match parent then scale type center crop so if user select an image then we can show the image as well for now i just want to show the launcher background so you can see this image view is perfectly visible here then 
so now just give any id so i am just giving the id here id image and that's it so our custom layout is created now we have to create a custom class where we will send set the random text color we will pick the first letter of the word and we will also set the functionality if user select an image then we don't have to show other things and if user don't select the image then we have to show the text so all basic things we are going to create in a custom view class so just create a new class here new kotlin class file custom image view so this class is created successfully so for this first of all this is the custom class so we need to create a constructor here first so at the rate jvm overloads when you type this and just type here constructor so now we have to pass some parameter for the constructor which is first parameter is our context second parameter is our attributes so let us suppose if someone want to set something from an attribute set directly from xml because it is a custom view so you can also add the functionality you can check out my previous video of custom view that contain that video contain this particular thing now default style attribute you can give any variable and this is just a variable name and i set it to zero now let's inherit this custom view with the constraint layout so context attributes pass these values here then after that what we have to do we have to first declare some variable which we have which are in our custom view class so i just declare here private late in it where card vg so this is our material card view then we have a text view so i just give the name here tv word text view then we have a private late in it where image this is our image view then after that we have a private late in it where which is our root root is our constraint layout type so that's it so this is fine so this is our custom view function now one thing what we have to do we have to init this class whenever the constructor of this class is going to create because this is the custom view set so let us suppose if i want to use this custom view in my main activity so if user then we have to initialize this layout as well inside this class otherwise it is not gonna work so as you know in kotlin whenever we create a constructor of any class the init method is going to call so inside this i just add here init custom image view then we have to create this function simply so private fun init custom image view and this class is associated with this custom layout file so what we have to do we have to inflate that so we just need to type here layout inflator dot from context then after that inflate r dot layout dot custom image view and after that we have to pass this attached to root and true now after that we can easily do this card find view id r dot id dot card bg then we have a tv word equal find view id r dot id dot tv word let me copy paste these things then image image and root so this is created successfully now if you run this program pro application program then it will going to show this custom view but it doesn't contain any kind of functionality so we have to add that so first, first of all we are just creating a public function here so fun get root view click so let us suppose if someone want to set an on click on this custom view then we have to get this view so we get root view click and we just need to pass this view return root so it will return the root so then you can directly set on this click listener inside on that now we have to create a function here private fun it's it should be public function because we are going to set the data from outside so set custom image data so this function will take three things uri so image uri if someone want to set a image on this custom view then we should also have a custom bg color you can add multiple support as well for this for now i am just adding a default things like a card bg color so if someone want to set up card color programmatically and at last what we need we need a text so whatever the text user is entering on the text view or edit text and these all things should be null by default so user because why it is null by default so if you are writing a good code then your function should handle all these cases accordingly and outsider of the class user should not able user should not write any kind of logging to handle these so your class or your custom view should able to handle these all kind of scenarios so that's why i am just passing here default null so now you can simply add a check here if uri not equal to null so if uri not equal to null then we will give to priority to our image so on that case we will just make our card bg visibility visible 
and TV world visibility visible visible gone sorry and image view visibility visible view dot visible and I will just set the image set image URI and just pass the URI so that's it now there is a else case here so inside this else if if card bg color not equal to null and text not equal to null because these two things are mandatory if URI is null otherwise there is a new use, no use of the function so on that case first of all what I have to make visible and gone so on that case image should be gone and word should be visible then after that we need to just set the set card background color so card bg dot set card background color and just pass the color here card bg color and then after that we have to set the set letter i will call this function set letter which will set the first letter of the string so inside this we i have to pass the text and inside the else case if nothing matches then we have to return the function because no use case of that function exist now let's create the function private fun set letter and it will take the string so it is not nullable because we already make a check here so it is not nullable now let's me copy this fun function what we have to do in this set letter so I then I will explain so just paste it here so I am just checking here if text length is equal equal to one and text is not empty then we have to just set that text on to our text here then on then after this I am just checking here if text color is not applied yet if text color is not applied yet then we have to just set the random color and we have to make this variable true so I have to create this variable text color applied private where text color applied equal to false now let me explain why this is the text color applied so let us suppose I am going to call this function again and again whenever the edit text text on chain listener will call so if user let us suppose if I type B in the edit text so the length on that case is one and text is not empty I will just set the text and by default this value is false by default because the text color is not applied yet so I will just set the random color of that particular text and I will just make it true now if I call if I type again after B I just type R so the text length is not equal to one so it will come here so if it is not equal to one then I have to just check if TV word dot text equal to I will just set the text of text 0 to string so in better coding you always have to handle else case there is no else case is required here but you can you it is better always to handle else case because sometimes if orientation change or anything happen then it will gonna work and your program will not gonna crash so on that time I will just put the 0th character 0th index from that text and I will set and I will check if text color is not applied yet then I will just set the text color otherwise it will go the default color which I applied previously so why this done so because basically what is gonna happen so let us suppose if I type B then it will show the random color let us suppose red then if I type R then it will gonna show the B but it will change the color as well so it will very bad behavior for the user the color is again and again on changing so that's why and inside else case I just make it false because there is no condition exists still yet and it is basically the reset condition kind of now let's create this function private set random color so you can pick the color from array or any resources I am just created this function so this is just uh, taking the random int from bounds and just creating the ARGB values of the color and then we are setting this color so you can create your own function or you can pass your custom color as well so basically this is our custom views ready so now let's see how to use this custom view so for this just open this delete this we don't need this just type here custom image view you can see it is visible here so you can give any width and height let us suppose if I just give here 150 dp 150 dp and top to top of parent start to start of parent and to end of parent bottom to bottom of parent and id custom view so you can see this custom view is visible here now just take a edit text here so we will add the edit text on this so just give here match pair and wrap content top to bottom of custom view and start to start of parent and to end of parent and just give a margin here any rough margin so basically this is dummy project so you can give any 
that's it and you can give any enter any name so this is fine now let's open this main activity and let's see how to use this so first of all we need to declare some variables so private late init var custom view this variable should be custom image you type private late init var and edit text this is edit text type assign the xml ids into java sorry kotlin find view id r dot id dot custom view and edit text equal find view id r dot id dot edit text it is not showing let me check i didn't get i give any id to this so edit text so this is fine so now we have to just set on click listener on this so let me copy paste this thing because this is the most basic thing so custom view so you can i you can see for now if on if a user run first time application i am just setting passing here bridges so if i pass here bridges it will automatically pick the first color of b and i am passing the custom card vg color black so for now i am just passing the gray here so it will help to understand easily then now if you want to take the click of this so you just need to take the click custom view set on click listener and you can pick just you just need to pick the image from here gallery and after getting the image from gallery you just need to call this function again set custom image data and pass the uri so it will our function custom view automatically handle that then edit text custom view so and you can see on text change i am just passing the string here and it will automate our function will automatically going to handle all cases so now let's run our this application and see how it is working so for this i have to connect my device with the emulator so i connected my emulator let's run this so let's install this so you can see it installed successfully and it is saying enter any name so if i type here t you can see it is displaying t here if i pass here c it will displaying the c here now you can see i just pass the color black here that's why it's showing card color black so you can pass any random color let us suppose i am passing green here now one thing it is not in center because we give the height here 150 dp and 150 dp here but it is not representing that height so we have to give just here so for just if you can see i just hard code the height is 100 100 dp so just share match parent match parent and give it match parent match parent so you also need to create a card corner radius programmatically otherwise it is gonna pick the 100 radius every time so you can see now it is fine but let us suppose if i increase the width here 200 dp 200 dp so it is also working fine but if you increase or height or width more then it will going to card corners radius not gonna work perfectly so you just need to create an xml attribute in a custom view so to pick the card corner radius from this function here directly so you can check out my previous custom view tutorial as well for this now let's run this and see how it is gonna working so you can see it is working fine you can also create multiple attributes like pass the text size directly from here or custom text color or you can create a multiple variable whether the color should be random or not so these kind of things you can create directly from xml attribute and i explain everything of xml attribute in previous tutorial of custom images so you can also check that and the link is in i button as well so i hope guys you like this video if you have any question if you have any query just comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment please like the video please subscribe the channel please share the video Thank you guys. See you soon in next amazing video. Thank you.